this is Lil Owl Socks here and today we will be using the Just Because Cards cartridge and on page 40 of your handbook there is the pretty peas image it's so cute and we're just going to cut out the peas base and the image so we're just going to cut the layer one and then we're going to cut the shadow so we will be starting with a light green for the layer one and then a darker green for shift layer one and then white for the shadow and i'm going to white load my white paper later because um it'll be like it'll take up less space just in case it actually cuts out if you get what i mean and um so we're going to get started on that so we're just going to put this away and then turn that on i'm going to load my paper and it's set at three and a quarter or if you would like it um bigger you you can just uh, move it up. Just make sure you don't use real dial size because if you do layers using real dial size, it will become all wrong because it means that you're cutting it at the actual size. So if you cut each layer at actual three and a quarter, it won't work. Like if you're going to cut an eye for like an animal it's gonna cut a giant circle at three and a quarter inch that you don't want so just a little heads up there for those who don't know and one thing that I am kind of concerned for the just because cards cartridge is to kind of label your overlay because the overlay is just like a bunch of little card shapes and you really don't know which one it is but sometimes it's easy to figure out. Well, for me, it is kind of easy to figure out. But for some people, they kind of don't really know um, how to figure it out. So it's best to label your page. So if it's 40, you're going to put 40 on the image. So that's what some people like to do. So I'm just going to press layer 1 and then press the P's button which is this one and then we're just going to cut it well actually now that I've already cut it I actually want to kind of bigger and so I'm just going to make it at three and three quarters I'm just going to hit repeat last which is right there That's a better size. Then we're going to move to the next um, color. Then we're going to hit the shift button and then press repeat last. Oh wait. Oh wait, that didn't do it right. Um, let's see. I don't know how that happened. See, as it, if you press shift layer one, it should make the image that's on the top part. So I'm just going to press shift layer one and then adjust the P separately instead of hitting repeat last. Oh, now it's working. And now I'm just going to get some scrap white paper and I'm going to cut it down to size. I'm gonna move my blade. So my paper's there. I'm going to not hit layer one, and I will be pressing layer three slash shadow, and then pressing the P's. One or more items not available with current feature. All right, I'm supposed to hit shift. Sorry, I I always forget to hit shift for this part. Shift. 
Let's try again. All right. So I'm going to unload it all. I'm going to take my cricket spatula. And I'm going to take everything off. It's easier if you lift off the base paper first and then lift the image or, yeah, the image off the mat. It's easier if you do it that way. That's the layer one. And what I meant by that is to, like, lift this piece of paper off because the image is going to stick on to the mat. Okay. Sometimes if there's like small little circles like this one, you're just going to have to pop it out uh, yourself. Cause sometimes it doesn't really cut the whole th thing, which I don't really like. So that's the three circles. And then a shadow. The shadow. If you are using your Cricut and you stick really like small pieces or like really detailed pieces it's best to use a zig to weight glue it's um, a glue pen the fine tip one of the big chisel tip and so you're just going to just stick it on all the layers When you work with Zig 2 way glue, you have to work with it really fast because it does dry really fast. So, that's the layer on that. And instead of using the Zig 2 way glue again to stick it onto the shadow, I'm going to be using my dimensionals if I can find them. Oh, yeah, they're right here. So you're just going to take your dimensionals. And if your dimensionals are a little too big, you will have to cut them down to size. Which uh, it's isn't really recommended. So that's why I use this, the foam tape. And then just stick it smack in the middle of the shadow. Like that and I've also made a bunch of these like using the just because cards cartridge because they have like a lot of fruits and vegetables I've made an apple a watermelon a radish a pear and a carrot um they're just in my project box which isn't here right now but in another video that I'm going to make soon I will feature all of my projects that I have done like from videos and some from videos and some not from videos and so I hope you enjoy making your little embellishment today using the just because cards cartridge and just remember that you can do this with any other cartridge I just really like this P right here so um I hope you enjoyed making this I hope it works out for you on your scrapbooks, and I will see you next time. Bye!